What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Emory TV. If it's your first time hopping on here, welcome. If it's your second, third, fourth, fifth millionth time hopping on here, welcome back. I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys are enjoying all the videos I'm sharing aside from this. Because <laughs> I know you guys know that I do share other stuff from this, right? So anyways, let's get right in onto it so we can go right into you know the meat and potatoes of what you want but i do this because i feel like it's important to share the context of what you're about to watch credentials of who i am the the uh the format of the videos uh so anyway let's get into it the, my credentials a little bit of about me because if i'm not instagram famous or TikTok famous or you know I've, i'm not choreographing on you know fucking uh so you think you can dance but i do have 20 years of dance experience and 15 plus years of teaching choreographing directing and all that other stuff I co-founded a competitive hip hop company called Family Business in 2004. Still going on strong. Not currently competing, at least in terms of in, uh, in terms of right now because of COVID and all this stuff happening in LA. So yeah, but helped co-found a, a competitive hip hop crew. Uh, toured with a professional hip hop dance theater company called Antics. Worked with organizations such as Culture Shock and Mixed Elements and Moving Out on Productions and many other more. Uh, and I currently run a professional hip hop dance company called Temper Tantrum. Make sure you go check out our YouTube channel. Going on to the format part one, I just react to the choreography video, you know, no interruptions, which is, you know, what I initially did before, but this is giving them props, sharing what I love. Part two is where I put my choreographer, director, you know, hat on and share like the insights of what I think are great, the, the things that I know that they probably improved on. Uh, angles, formations, everything that I'm noticing as a director, choreographer, all the other stuff, dancer from all these years. And hopefully that gives you insight uh, into how you can perform or how, or how you can show up in your upcoming rehearsals, that these details do matter if you're, you know, if you're, uh, if you are an aspiring dancer, choreographer, director and whatnot. And if it's something that I'm noticing, imagine what their own label, producer, director, choreographer, everything that they're noticing. So. That's part two. Part three is just me reacting to a performance, but in this case, it's a choreography performance video and just me loving it and just seeing the the vision come to life. Um, it's kind of like a shout out to my company, Vision Paradox. Anyways, that's it. That's a, a little bit about me and the format. Let's get right onto the video. Super strong. I love that it's starting off on st stage left. That they're like, it's really, I love this. Great use of the floor. Not crazy formation changes, but it's very smart staging. Hey, that hero shot. Center up on that gimbal, buddy. You are way too far to the right right now. Ooh. Oh my god. This is such a this is so feel good. I love the rotation and the color coordination happening here. Is it just three guys? I don't know much about these subunits. Is it just three guys for ExoCBX? Ooh, I love that kick. Nice block formation to that little like stagger. Back to the block formation to the little aisle. Nice. Those of you guys have been watching my stuff for a while. You see what I mean by the constant sharp movements and even the smooth, smooth. It's like, ga, 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 ga. I feel like it's, it's like the staple for all uh, boy groups. I like that. That's a fun movement. Mm. Nice. A little bit of that house right there. 
Ooh, ooh. That's a nice little sequence right there. Super strong, this whole thing. I like that. That was probably my favorite moment of the whole thing. Because it, of how simple it is it, without doing too much. Oh, that makes sense why they, they're... That, so it is three people. So, look at the big strong movements, man. Nice. Is that pacing? Or they're just lucky. I like that shoulder hit. Nice ripple. Ooh. I like this track. Super feel good. Something yeah. I would probably enjoy choreographing too. Okay, my impressions start right off the bat before we go into the analysis. Choreography, strong, fun angles, really complements the feel goodness of the saw. If you guys have been watching any of my stuff, like a lot of the boy groups have a tendency to like that. Ka, ka. Strong hits, strong hits, strong hits. Strong hits, strong hits kind of stuff. But I what I like about this is the smooth aspects of it to kind of like uh, offset a lot of the different movements. Every, I think, boy group or group has those moments to offset everything where they're going like super strong, super strong, super strong, and then smooth to flow it. Boom. Da, da, da. Okay, so that's what I love. That's what, I'm enjo uh, that's what I enjoyed it because it's a really like, like, mm, kind of thing. So uh, that's why I love the choreography is great. The execution was really good. They're very sharp. Like they really like hit when they're supposed to be staccato. They're very super staccato. The use of the floor I loved in the beginning because it works so well on stage and on camera because it's literally taking your, uh, you through a visual kind of journey going from stage left to stage right or audience right to audience left. So it's nice to like boom, ra boom. I love the use of the floor like that. Just from my subconscious memory it's a, a lot of it felt block formations obviously block formations are like the center type uh formations are to highlight the artists and whatnot but how clever they use the three line formation i love uh i've seen a lot of k-pop groups just go into that formation a lot and every time i see it it's something different somehow executed differently some i don't know how they keep coming up with these ideas but it's it's pretty fucking badass how they keep switching it up every single time it's just one of those things it's like you know, the whole thing is like, no, no, nothing's new under the sun. You know, like like every kind of thing has already been done. It's just, it's just how you approach it. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoyed it overall. Execution, super sharp, like I said already. Um, yeah, that's about it for this one. When you guys are saying that these guys are just the vocalists, not exactly the dancers, they're so strong for um, just quote unquote vocalists. I would consider these guys are pretty fucking good dancers. And those of you guys watching this on the YouTube months later, because um, if you see me look here, I'm actually I'm almost filming this. This is on the, from the live stream. <laughs> I love that. There's a couple things, but uh, I want to say that I love. But look at the like him just going from like a smooth, smooth, da da. There's the texture changes again. Fun, <laughs> smooth, sharp, flowing. Okay, so that was great. A lot of the movement. If you guys have seen any of my videos, the style I think is the staple for a lot of boy groups very strong sharp with some smoothness to balance it out so like da 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 smooth da okay just to just to make it visually different and it's also very like okay i'm probably exaggerating how easy it is to clean because you know experience is a variable but i think in in relation to a bunch of other things it's uh it's easier relative to cleaning up crump which lated which is mad props the style of choreography is much easier to clean compared to chung ha's like uh, state of night which had a lot of whacking and which is 
which had a lot more arcs and smooth and grooves. This type of choreography is much easier compared to Super M's Tiger Inside, which was had a lot more grooves and a lot more fluid movement. Okay, like angles, this, 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 all this stuff is much easier than like flowing type of choreography because there's no like exact angle to hit. You can't just say like, oh, hit it at 45 degrees or hit it up like, like you're up at this angle or here. You're just like, oh no, I'm doing up. You know, this is one hit, get there by two. But I mean, that's not to like knock it down. This is just like, um, to give context in regards to all these different choreography styles. Um, cause there's a whole thing about like, is this hip hop choreography, but I'm just going to say call, call it choreography for now. But either way, this is super fun. I would, I don't, honestly would love to learn this choreography, but, um, I just run half time. Another thing, just go back into it. <laughs> um, what I loved is that three different formations happening here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then the camera kind of like going through. That's such a nice use of the floor uh, overall because it also works very well on stage because you're taking the audience to a visual like journey, so to speak. This is why like, you know, the movement is dope. Uh, but if like the use of say that if this is the entire floor, like, and you're just here, I mean, if you can go like down, uh, is this upstage, downstage, okay, here and here, just the use of the floor, it's going to add a, a level of like depth and just a visual journey to your, your whole thing, but don't force it if it doesn't make sense. But I'm just saying these are like th things I'm sharing with you guys are like tools that you can potentially use. Uh, and especially for those of you who are aspiring dancers. So, okay, I'm only like 30 seconds in. I've talked so much already. Oh my god, I, I love this hero shot. I would be like, fuck, this is like Avengers kind of thing. And then, uh, it's a great hero shot. After this point, the, the, the cameraman kind of annoys me. Because <laughs> there, he's right there. I mean, just you know. He's doing his best. That's a fun simple groove. They're just like stepping. Very simple like groove as they're stepping back. And that's a um that could be one of the moments that they're trying to get people to imitate as well. Like a lot of this choreography, you want a moment for your fans to be able to mimic you or to copy. Like that's why. Uh, Megan Stallion, she has that really, that, I forgot the name of the song, but she has that moment. And uh, for this, could be like the, the step back, because like, when they hear it, like, they want the fans to hear it. You're at the mall, you're wherever you're at, when line for McDonald's, you're just, oh, I like the song. You can just copy it, that quick little step back. Super easy, simple, and also visual, because how they're using it as a group. One, two, three. Hey, that's eight. Yeah, I like that. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I love the angles. What is that? Boyfriend? That's like fucking clever. I like that. Sorry, I'm trying to get the moment so I can go frame by frame. Can I be your, is that like a, brings that around, boyfriend, that's clever. Is like, can I be your boyfriend? Ooh, ooh. It's clever, like storytelling with the movement. Again, using the floor, it's still a block formation, but they're taking you through visual journey, going to a stage right. Going back to a center, yep. Smooth transition into that V formation. Selling the sex appeal, man. Going from like super like da da staccato, like yeah, I'm cool. Da. I like that that execution of that body roll. That, man. Ooh, what happened there? Okay, they're going V. K. 
Okay, and then what happened? Okay, they're stepping back. He stepped forward to do that spin. Man, look at that. Look how close he is. He's about to hit him. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> That's me. That's called being aware of your spacing right there. Him like making sure that he can see. <laughs> him like, oh, best not hit him. Because um, one of the things that I, I, I absolutely love about these uh, performers is that they keep, they're so like to the audience. Because uh, I've noticed some dancers that I've worked with, when they have to do something like this, they fucking look takes it out of because people. audience notices that the people the smallest details people like audi the audience will notice it they won't know what it is exactly but they'll be like something felt off um and you know that's what trained dancers see they see it so they can call it out so when they're supposed to be looking forward like it, it throws it off when someone's trying to look back to make sure they're like in, they're in information so spins into a nice little nicely placed diagonal also almost like yeah man Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh no. It is a diagonal. It's not a diagonal, but it's like a, another block type formation with them in the, in the, as a diagonal. This color coordination is fucking genius. I love this kick, by the way. My hips. Kicks out. Yo! Okay. Fucking angle check, dude. Look how, like, in line everyone is you know I'm like 99 percent damn that is clean with a kick move man that was fun i like that control move right there okay so this is what i was talking about earlier they like went from like this I could tell like from this here, they had a three line formation or block formation here. Then a nice little stagger, just uh, bring the other people out. I love how simple that was. Da -da 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 -da. It's like really just push, push, da 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 da. So one, two, and a three, and four. I really look really stupid doing it because I'm not extending my arms, but you get the idea. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I like the direction change. So I, I know there's a lot of attention here, but uh, there's, you know, people still see this stuff happening in the back too. So I'm kind of, I was, I'm looking at that. I love how just simple direction changes, like face them left, face them to the back, gives a different feel in how the, the choreography is executed. I fucking love that move. I like that. Ooh, that's how they transition to the other artists. Moment two. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, dude, I forgot the name of this move. I just, I'm just gonna call it a round jump. Diego, that's a house move too, right? That. I feel like it is. Ooh, my God, I love that. Here, out, right back up. Oh, hello. That's what he, they did. They like did a fucking thing here. <laughs> I love that. This feels uh, unique from a lot of the other stuff I've seen. Just to like a pace on the back and front. Da 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 da. God damn, they hit, they be hit, they're hitting all that. Woo! 
Man, they they wrote the vocals on that one. Yeah, so this one first they wrote the the, the beat as you see. Just you know, I wouldn't appreciate it. Da, 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 da. Now the vocals. Up and back to the beat. Back to the boom. Ooh, I love the I love that they're writing the different parts of the song. And I'm pretty sure they acknowledge that enough because I love uh, I'm enjoying the different parts of how they are writing the beats and I haven't said that in other videos. I don't think I have. Uh, but I love the the switch going from like the bass and I, and I don't know my ins instrument so i'm sorry uh to the vocals to the percussions i love that I, I think as a dancer those are things i love the ultimate basic style of choreography is just hitting the beat da 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 but another one is just like writing the lyrics but i love uh especially uh true i'd say like mark of someone who knows how to dance well is someone who can re who can write different parts of the beat so not just the you know like just not just the the drums uh or the lyrics but you know not just doing that individually but being able to beat right every single part going from uh what he got drums to the lyrics to the percussions to whatever else they have hi-hats i'm just throwing stuff out in there the flutes the violins Okay, I just realized cause I don't know. I normally don't pay attention to the singers, but I'm because I'm here. I'm listening with my earballs. Uh, he's going off right now while they're going off. Go off. Let's go. It just goes back into dancing like nothing. It's like oh, it's another Monday. Nice little Apache happening over there. Let me see. That, that, that. Ooh. Yeah, it's a nice little. B-boy Apache. Oh. Nice. Nice little dynamic control. Puppetry over there. Boom. Control. Ooh. Ooh, they're clean. They're clean. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, arc circular movements harder to clean because there's no defined placement but this was great Ooh, let's go love that move I had to learn that move for a Michael Jackson impersonator that I performed with a while back. It's like one of my favorite moves. All right, so that is it. I mean, you guys heard everything I had to say. This routine is super fucking clean. Uh, you guys said that they're just vocalists, but I'm saying <laughs> they fucking killed it as dancers as well. Super clean. Great use of the floor. Uh, formations uh, felt similar throughout. Um, I mean, cause now, you know, I feel like my brain has been spoiled with how, what 17 has done in terms of formations. So it's like, that's what kind of like set the bar, but either way, the, the movements have been super clear, uh, super clear and clever. What else? I've already said, I feel like what I said to say in the first part, like strong execution, great, uh, use of the floor, great, uh, clever formations and super clean. Let's get on to the reacting to the form formations i can't english today for some reason it's because my coffee it's like crack right now um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to hit like subscribe share with friends who you think might like it and enjoy it make sure to check out all the other content on this channel uh the tutorials the podcasts and whatnot the interviews the little nuggets of gold that i get from those podcasts and if you always want to check stuff out beyond emory tv make sure to check out my social media company's channel my my dance company's channel my four other podcasts that i do and yeah and that's it i appreciate you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and i will see you guys on the next episode